what is going on everybody this is jay from maji and jay today in this video we're going to be taking a look at my new blue vivo 5 that i purchased from amazon.com even though it is currently in pre-order now i am surprised because blue usually have enough stock for their devices every time they announce it but now with this one it's a different story right now as i said before it is not in stock so some sellers on amazon are charging a little bit more if you really want it this device is supposed to be $199 and they are selling it for that price on bestbuy.com but right now if you want to purchase it on Amazon you're going to pay $309. Now the only reason I paid the money is because I really wanted the device, I wanted to see what it was all about and of course share it with you guys. So now getting a look here at the box itself, we can see that it is gold even though the device inside is the silver model. I think it looks a lot more attractive in my opinion, I really don't like gold that much. Get a look on the front of the box, the first thing you can find here is the blue branding. It says bold like us, I guess that's what blue really means. We have the Vivo 5 model on the side, it's the same story. On the other side, it's just the pretty much the long version of blue. Then on the upper side, we got here some of the specifications, but the cool part is that they are also included on the back side of the box. This device has a 5.5 inch HD Super AMOLED display, it is a 5 point multi touch screen and it has a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels and it has 268 ppi so that's uh, I would say it's about average for this resolution even though it is not the best out there. It comes with the Corning Gorilla Glass number 3, it has the MTK6753 only clocked at 1.3 GHz but it is octa core 64 bits. It has the Android Lollipop 5.1, it supports 4G LTE with AT&T and T-Mobile, at least in Florida, so you have to make sure with your carrier that all the bands are supported and I will be providing it below as well. It comes with a rear 13 megapixel main camera and also we have a 5 megapixel front facing camera for selfies and I really have to test the quality to see if it's a true 5 megapixel. Also we got 32 gigabytes of internal storage and 3 gigabytes of RAM, it comes with a 3150 milliamp battery. It is 6.9 millimeters thin and it comes with the CNC and metallic frame which is really really cool and with this being said guys let's go ahead and pop this thing open and see exactly what we have inside. So getting a look here we find a screen protector which is uh, very nice because right now uh, locally accessories are very limited. Now the blue company is actually very close to me, if I wanted to get one of these I can just go directly to their office, it's about 45 miles away from me so that's equivalent to about 50 minutes or so, so it's really not, not that far. Like I said if I really wanted it I can just go directly to the office and maybe grab one, possibly even for free, uh, letting them know that I was going to complete a video but that's okay guys I just wanted the phone right away and I really didn't have the time to travel. So yes, we got here the screen protector and also inside we're going to find the device itself. And let me tell you guys, this thing looks very attractive, at least from what I can see already. And it looks actually super thin, even though it is still 6.9 millimeters. It is not the thinnest device out there, but we can tell there from the metallic frame. They gave it the illusion based on the cuts on the corners, giving it the illusion that it is super, super thin. And wow, it looks super nice. It does have bezels on there, they are I would say a little bit camouflaged by the LCD when it's powered off. Giving you guys the illusion like it is an edge to edge display but let me tell you that the bezels are not really that thick. And then on the front here we're going to find the specifications again. It has that MediaTek processor and so on like I mentioned before. So let me go ahead and set the phone aside. And now we're going to check and see what else comes inside of the box. We got here a cover this is a silicon cover it is very neat to have it as well so that way we can protect it right away uh, next we got here the usb type c as we can tell right there let me see if i can show you that easier there we can see it usb type c we also got the adapter for usb type c which is a plus because i didn't have one this is going to be very very handy for me uh, next we got the earphones and to be honest with you, they look uh, quite cheap to me and very poorly wrapped, as we can tell. So let me take them out and show them to you guys here really quick. So this is the wrapping method that they used. I mean, they look alright design-wise, but I'm pretty sure that these are going to be quite cheap. Next, in here we have the wall charger, and they are claiming that it is a fast charger. Now, I think that it is truly not a fast charger, it's just that it comes with two amps. Uh, giving you a little faster charge and there we can see it 5 volts 2 amps and they're not specifying around here on the charger that it is a fast one so 
uh, I will have to test that on the review video I guess and that's another thing guys from now on I really want to know if you guys uh, really want the reviews by commenting below because some of the products that I bring from China usually uh, some of them don't get enough views so I really lose interest to make a review about it so just let me know what you guys think about this product and then I can bring it for you so here we have this little booklet giving us the instruction on how to install the SIM card I believe it's a dual SIM, dual standby device and you can use one of the slots to install a uh, uh, an SD card and extend the memory if you want to. I will have to confirm that with you guys in just a moment. And then lastly, we find the manuals. The manuals look quite generic to me. And these are usually Chinese devices that get rebranded by Blue. They have to have the Blue logos and such. But yes, they are Chinese devices. This one even uses the same hot knot that we see on Chinese phones all of the time. It doesn't have NFC, but I'll be getting to that in just a moment. So for right now, let me just pick this mess up and then jump to the phone. And now let's get started with the physical aspects of the Blue Vivo 5. On the front we have that 5.5 inch display that I was mentioning before. Let me go ahead and remove this front protector so that way we can take a real look at the actual product itself. I do apologize for the focus being gone there. But we can tell by the reflection that yes, it is a super AMOLED display and we can notice already the bezels a little bit on there on the top side of the phone. Then we find here the front facing camera. This is the 5 megapixel that I mentioned before. We got the ear speaker and also the proximity and light sensor. I am pretty sure that it comes with a notification LED, but I will really have to find out exactly where it is located. Get a look on the bottom side of the device on the front side, of course. We got there the menu key, the home key, and the back key. And we can see that these are physical buttons. They're not going to be located on the operating system, something that I do prefer quite a bunch. On the left hand side of the device we find nothing here but just the metal frame and also the SIM tray as we can tell and it comes with uh, dual SIM, dual standby capabilities like I mentioned before. On the upper side we got nothing here but just the 3.5mm headphone jack and then on the right hand side we find all the buttons. Now the cool part is that the button placement is very comfortable and you don't get confused that often because they are quite separated from each other. We got the volume rockers up and down and also the power key. Getting a look towards the bottom side, on the left hand side we're going to find the microphone and then on the right side is going to be the loudspeaker. We also find there the USB Type-C port. Then finally on the back side we find the beautiful metallic frame and this is the silver model. We got there a noise cancelling mic on the back side. We find the LED flash but it looks uh, a little bit cheap in my opinion. We got there the 30 megapixel sensor camera, the blue logo, and then we find here some of the information of the device and whatnot. So now let me go ahead and get this thing started. It comes with the Android 5.1 and to be honest with you guys I already started it myself and I went through the operating system a little bit just to see how good it was. I believe that on this one we're not going to see the app tray but that's something that you know you guys can fix with a launcher of your like. But now we still see here some of those black vessels that I truly dislike. I mean I wish that this thing really had the white vessels all the way around the, uh, the extra screen so that way it can give me realistic vessels and not some fake ones. I really hate those black lines guys. You have no idea that's a big downer for me. But now at least this device are not getting it so thick on the sides as we can tell once again on there. So with this being said here we find the lock screen on the operating system and I do like it because it's actually quite clean. If you guys haven't noticed already on the bottom side we got just the time, the date and also the day. On the upper right hand side corner we got the Wi-Fi reception, the battery percentage and so on. So here we find the operating system and again guys we don't have an app drawer but you can fix this by just downloading your own launcher. Uh, if you go here into settings we're going to confirm three different things and one of them is the operating system. That yes it is running the Android 5.1 Lollipop as we can tell right here and this is legit. I really don't believe that Blue has any means to lie about their operating system. Now something that I wish I had is the OTA for the new Marshmallow. That would have been something absolutely outstanding. They support wireless updates. Let me actually check if there's any wireless updates as of right now. And no, it says there your system is currently up to date. Something that we see very often on Chinese devices. Going back here to the other information, let's go ahead and check now the internal memory. And right now it says that I haven't used uh, 6.96 but it doesn't say how much I have available. Oh yes, there it is. I have about 23.75 available. And let me see if I can find the RAM for you as well. At least on apps, there we go. Let's go into running, as we usually do. And we have about 2.2 gigabytes out of three. 
and that is suspected and not running any applications on the background um, I haven't logged into my Play Store yet I believe let me just confirm that with you guys and now I haven't logged in as of right now on the top you got some of the uh, actually we had no toggles available right now let me see if that's correct well we can get some uh, notices on here for certain applications but I don't see any toggles on there so yes I mean this operating system is alright I mean I can't complain that much it looks like it's uh, actually quite smooth and so on but the fact that it doesn't come with an app drawer and the fact that I don't have some of the toggles on the top is a little bit of a downer for me but maybe we can fix that later on but this being said guys I think I have covered the unboxing and a little bit of uh, the hands-on on the Blue Vivo 5 let me know in the comment section below what you think about this device again the price point is only $200 and it does get 4G LTE here with T-Mobile and also AT&T in the USA and you can get it through Amazon or you can get it through uh, Best Buy so you have two different options you guys choose which one you want to select the cool part about Amazon is that in case you guys didn't like the device and you want to return it they pay for the shipping label and so on so yes it is uh, quite secure and it's a little bit cheaper in case you guys want to do a return so again with this being said let me know what you guys think on the comment section below don't forget to like this video subscribe for more thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one